So my little fun little surprise here is if we're to go back to our colour wheel, so this is our basic colour wheel, if we are to make a different kind of colour wheel, what we might do is instead of our cadmium red or our primary red, we might get rid of that one and throw in some magenta. So instead of red, we're going to pop in magenta. And then instead of our primary blue, we're going to get rid of our primary blue and swap it out with some teal. So magenta and teal or magenta and cyan, anything that you know resembles these sorts of colors, we'll stick with our yellow. And then I'll show you what those fantastic colors make. So we're back to our square one. Let's start with, so this is swapping the red for magenta. We're swapping the blue for teal. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit more, be a bit more generous with that magenta. And we've got a yellow. So exactly the same process. So you can jump through this and try it yourself if you'd like to, or you can watch. But the colours that you'll be able to make with magenta and teal, or a, a turquoisey colour, are so much brighter and I think much more fun. But that's just because I'm me, you know, <laughs> I like crazy colour and fun colour. So we get some of our teal, throw a little bit of magenta in there and you watch that beautiful purple come up. A little bit more magenta. So you can probably already see that is a much, much more interesting, well, sort of, it's just a brighter purple. It's a very beautiful, beautiful purple. Let's wash my brush. And I will make a little bit more, just given last time I ran out, when I was showing you the tertiaries. Let's give that a nice mix. Beautiful, so that's a lovely purple. Then we'll make our orange. So a little bit of magenta, chunk of yellow, and we should get a really vibrant, beautiful orange, which is quite different. And I'll do a comparison afterwards. And a little bit of teal and some yellow. Oops, actually I'll make a larger amount. There we go, we've got a really beautiful grassy green. So it's quite a different green. So just for comparison, I've actually just thrown my paints all over the place. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, that was what we made before. So you can already see the colors are quite a lot brighter. I'll just pop that up there. Okay, so you can go through and just experiment with these colours. You can make your tertiaries. I'm just going to leave it at this stage. I don't think I need to show you the rest of it. Um, but it's just a really fun thing to do is swapping out that red. So I would suggest start with your basics. Start with your red, blue, yellow, whatever you've, you've got or you've purchased recently from your shop. Um, and just play around with those colours and just see how many variations um, you can come up with. What I'd like to show you now, I'm just going to take that piece of palette paper off. It's just because they're fluid, they've gone all over the place, but that's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna pop them to the side so you can see. Right, so let's have a little bit of fun with our opposites. So now we've got our, our teal is actually opposite to our orange. We've still got purple and yellow and our magenta is opposite to our green. So let's see what we can make. We'll just make, a, use a bit of green with a little bit of red. I'm gonna start making some neutrals. Okay, so that's quite green. But that's starting to get sort of a nice browny grey sort of neutral type colour, a little bit olivey. So just keep adding the opposite colour to make it quite neutral. So this is how you get those beautiful earthy tones, is jumping across the colour wheel. What 
I, I'll, I'll make a few of those to start with. So I've got my teal and I'm going to add some orange. So like we did before, we're adding, adding our opposites, but what I'm trying to get to is more of a neutral tone. So I'll keep adding until it looks quite sort of browny and quite dirty. I'm pretty much gonna use up all of that orange. So that's still quite greeny, but we'll keep that there. Then we will jump in with a little bit of our purple and remembering straight across a bit of yellow. And we'll see if we can make a murky, fabulous sort of neutrally colour there. Now this process that I'm doing, obviously, can be done with your basic primaries. It's just that we just talked about this. So have a play with these. You'll get probably better neutrals with the red, blue and yellow, which I'll try afterwards for you. What I would like to do now is pop down some white. So I've just got some titanium white. And I love, I love adding white to these things. Okay, so we'll take a little bit of that and some white. And look at these gorgeous, these are quite, quite greeny, greeny earthy colours. Beautiful sages, very Australian native kind of colours. And then obviously, depending on how much white you add, is how light your color's going to be. A little bit of this one. So I've added quite a bit of white to this one because it's quite green. Beautiful. So there's some really lovely, lovely earthy greeny colors. If I wanted to go redder, I could use more of the magenta. So we might just do that process again with just our basic uh, primaries rather than the teal and the magenta. <laughs> 